This is the plaintiff, Emeka Elanwafi. He says he and the defendant used to date, and now that they've split up, he can't get her to return his car. The woman, as it turns out, is a common criminal. He wants his wheels back, but she refuses, so he's forced to sue her for the value of the car instead, which is $5,538. This is the defendant, Toyette Hall. She says the plaintiff has some darn nerves suing her because he gave her the car as a gift. Now he's going back on his word. <laughs> She's sorry he can sue her till the cows come home, but she doesn't owe him a dime and is pretty sure the judge is gonna see through his lying ways. She's accused of grand theft auto. All parties, please use your hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, these litigants used to date. They broke up and he says she stole his car, but she says the car was a gift. It's the case of you stole my heart and my car. Thank you, Douglas. Amika, how do I pronounce your name? Amika Ilonwa. Okay, um, and The Rock Auto Broker Incorporated, you are the owner, is suing Toyette yes. Hall for $5,538, the value of a car that you say she refuses to return to you. Tell me what's going on. Um, I, uh, I met her in 2014, and uh, it, it didn't take me a long time to uh, figure out that she wasn't the kind of person I wanted to deal with, so I kind of distanced myself from her. Why? I just, you know, I just realized that she wasn't the, you know, she was... Were you dating? Not, no, no, we weren't dating. She just I don't was, understand what you're saying. Was she a friend and you didn't want to deal with her as a friend? A, a, she's or a friend. It, it was started just, romantic and you didn't want to deal just, with her romantically? You're not saying anything. I don't know. It what was you're just that she's the kind of person, you know, as a friend, you try to reach somebody. You know, as a friend, you, you, know, you, you right? interact with somebody. She's not forthcoming. Okay. As and therefore, <laughs> what, do, were you, but when you met in 2014, were you dating or were no, you no, romantic we we or were, nothing? I distanced myself from her and uh, she would occasionally come to me looking for help, uh, you know, and I tried to help her as much as I could. But uh, down the line, uh, she called me, well, she, we are friends on Facebook, and uh, occasionally I would advertise cars on Facebook hoping maybe friends of mine would, you know, uh, come to me looking for cars. Why, what do you do for a living? I sell used cars. Okay. So, uh, so she reached out to me, and then she said, uh, oh, uh, you don't check up on me, I lost my job, I lost my car, I lost my house. I went through a lot and I said, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. And then she said, oh, do you have a car for me? I said, no, I don't, because I just lost, uh, I just suffered a, a huge loss in my business. So, but she suggested, she said, look, she, she offered, she said, uh, do you have any car that you can, that you want to pawn and I would help you get the loan using her name? Because initially... Wait, in she asked you... Yes. If you had any vehicle... Yes. ...that you wanted to pawn... Yes. ...and get a loan in order to what? In order to... Because in 2016, I had approached her and said, I have a vehicle... Because I was going through some hard times in my business. I said, look, I have a vehicle that I'm, I'm looking to pawn. I can do it. Why not? Because I already did it one time and I can't go back to the uh, title place. Uh, title pawn place, so I said. So they, you can pawn, you can pawn a car. You could, you could. Pawn, okay, you and could so pawn a car do they for, actually okay. take the car from you, or they don't take the car from you? If you miss, if you don't make payment, they will. Yeah, then, then they the take vehicle. the car from you. But so in 2016, I approached her and said, "Look, are you? Would, would you be willing to do that for me? I will pay you some money." She said yes. So you told her to pretend it's her car, and yes. you would pay her. Yes. Now, did you have to put the car in her name for that? Yes. And then uh, money came forth. How much money? Uh, maybe around uh, 20, 20 something, 2000 something. Uh, it's been How much long. do you say it was? It was 2518 that they gave okay. me. Okay. So, and did, who'd they give the 2518 to? They gave it to me. And, and then you gave it check. to him. And he took me to the bank, and I cashed it, and I gave him all of the money. All of the money. And then your cut from that little um, deception Correct. was how much? Um, nothing. You, wait. Nothing. You, why would you do it if you weren't getting any money out because of it? Because he told me that his mom was sick in Nigeria, and he needed her to come over here because she needed some medical attention. Now, I asked him originally why he couldn't do it in his name. 
He said that he had done it too many times at different places and he couldn't do it anymore. Wow. Why are you doing this? I did Especially it for him. Especially if you're not making any money. I did it for him because we dated. And I don't know why he told you that we didn't. We dated. I met him in 2014 in a bar in Atlanta, Georgia called U Bar. Um, we dated for a few months. However, he lied to me about not having anyone. We were out on a date one day and somebody called him and he was arguing with them in his accent, in his language. And I asked him, I said, you have a girlfriend? Because he stepped outside of the car and he started arguing with her. And I asked him, did he have a girlfriend? He said, no. And I was like, okay, so who was that? He said, that was his baby mama. And I said, okay, so are you guys in a relationship? He told me that they live together. When the who's person, that, who's, who's that this thing? is my son. Okay. Is he going to testify? Yes, he knows. He's, okay. He knows him we'll ever see. since. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Relax. I want you to relax, okay? Mm -hmm. his, his eyes are like this, and he's just grabbing onto the chair. All right, we're good. Go ahead. Okay, and so, um, so at that point, I let him know that I didn't want to deal with him, and I did not want his problems becoming my problems because I didn't feel like I was going to gain anything from that. And then I told him that Good we could you. be friends. And I just decided to keep it as being friends. Okay, so when he contacts you in 2016 and tells you that he, uh, can you do this for me because I got to bring my mother from Nigeria because she's sick and all that stuff, um, you did all that. You risked your name on a loan. You risked your name on a car. Insurance, and Insurance. Yeah. And you got no cut. He you told got me he was going to pay it back. And... Oh, he did he? Was well, my wait, friend. wait, wait. Did he? No, ma'am. So who has a judgment now against them? Me. Exactly. And I was being a friend to him. No, you were being a fool to your son, who's your responsibility. Yes. You have a responsibility to be able to get credit in a time of crisis if you need it and not ruin your credit for a guy who you're not even dating. No. Right? Yes. Who's apparently someone else's man. Yes. All right, so now let's move on. So you end up finding out that he doesn't pay it. Do you contact him and say, you got to yes. pay this, you got to pay it? What does he say? So originally when we did it, he said he was going to pay it back. Now I was at work one day and I started getting the calls from the collectors. Is that the first payment or in collection? It was the first payment. Oh, really? So and he didn't he pay never, a single payment? He never came to give me any money to pay it And then at some off. point he tells you, well, they shouldn't be calling you because I turned in the car. Because I turned the car in and it's illegal for them to call you because they have the title and they what have the money. What happened in that case? Your Honor, um... I didn't date this girl. I did not. That's number one. Number oh, two. Wait. Um, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Number two, the car that she pawned, I did approach her. And I said, would you be willing? Right. Did you make the payments? No, I did not. Oh, so and, you ruined her credit to the tune of 2500 and something. Your, your Honor, I knew that the, the reason for which I needed the money, it was going to take a, a bit more time before I can get, you know, You didn't returns. make one yes. payment. Yes, but I couldn't get the money back fast enough to, make, to meet the deadline. I couldn't make the, the you know, money okay. fast enough so to make the deadline. Okay, so now fast forward to 2017. What happens? So um, after that happened in 2016, I lost our communication with him. I ended up getting my phone number changed. Um, I had went through some hardships. Um, I lost my job, lost my place, lost my car, right? So I was really just trying to, you know, get back on my feet. And I had a few dollars. I had a couple of hundred dollars and I know that I can go to a place to actually get a car, but I didn't know of any actual. So he's a guy you call. So I called him and I asked him, did he know any friends? Why or people would you that, call um, him? The guy already did this horrible thing to you. Yeah. I was kind of like looking for, you know, him to kind of like give me a referral, you know, to someone that's probably not going to be so what? tough about credit or down payment. And because I didn't have any animosity right, toward So what him. happens? He called me while I was at work and he said, did you get your car yet? And I said, no, I didn't get it because I have to go um, and bring him like for $100. He was like, well, that's good. You didn't get it because I have something for you. I said, okay, you know, what is it? He said, I have a car that I can't sell and the, something is wrong with the motor. If you can... Uh, pay for it to get fixed. You can have the car. The motor, when he, when I told him, I said, okay, well, I want to see the car. He told me what kind of car it was. What was it? A 2012 Nissan Versa. Uh, like a small car. Does he end up giving you this car with a... Yes, with he a had already had it registered in my name when he came to my house with it. And he picked me and my son up in the car. And we dropped him off to his car. And then what? And then I, I kept the car, so... I thought in my head that I could get a title on, on the car. Oh, well, let's, being that it's in my name and let's it's my do car. It. Like, why not? Everybody yeah, else is that, doing it. Being that it's in my it's name all the rage. and it's my car, and you know, I, I don't mind 
getting a title on in a car that I'm going to drive. Did you get the car fixed? No, I didn't get it fully fixed because it actually, on Christmas Eve, I got stuck on the side of the highway um, for like four hours. Um, the trans actually went out on the car. How long were you able to drive it? Uh, from August all the way until Christmas Eve. All right. And you turn it in for parts. Yes. And they give you what? They gave me $900. Okay. Now, when do you first hear from him saying, hey, I want that car back? So he says that he put his car in her name, you know, for various reasons. And now they broke up. And she says it's hers. Can he start to try and prove I was just basically scamming somebody. I think he can try to prove that, but just because it's a scam, he may have some difficulty. If it is a scam, does he automatically lose? Yes, in my opinion, he does. Why? Because he is fraud. You know what? Enough said. Going inside the courtroom. One night he called me. He was like, no, you know, I'm just going to come and get the car. Now, I've had the car for two weeks. This is the 27. I'm like, no, you're not going to come and get the car. I've already put money into it. You know what I'm saying? I've already... What do you say happened here? You say that you were trying to do the same deal you'd done the last time. But if that's the case, the last time the car didn't go to her. So why did she have the car this time? Your Honor, the first time <laughs> I approached her, I said, look, I'm going to pay you $300. You're talking about 2016? Yes. Was that my question? No, okay. Why do you give her the car this time? The first time... Just answer why this, you gave this, her. What was this, different this, this time? The second time, what, um, because she asked me if there was something she could do to get money None. from me, I said no. And then she offered and said, look, do you have another car? Because I paid her the first time. Could you, can you and answer said, one thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm, why I'm, did you give her the car? No, because you're not making sense either. Uh -huh. See, the two of you are in this shady stuff and then you want me to get to the truth of it. And you each say the truth is something else. And I wouldn't believe either one of you if your tongues came notarized. I can't trust either one of you. I'm going to tell you what I think happened. Mm -hmm. I think you needed a car at the moment because you didn't have a car. I think he gave you his car because he wanted to be nice and wanted you to be able to use the car. I think you then reneged on him and said, no, you know what? Titled under my name. But... This is your kind of payback. Your payback is you don't really worry much about your credit until you have to. And now you have to because now you needed a car. And now you needed to put down a lot more. And now he's willing to help you. And you say to yourself, you know what? This is the guy who got me in this mess to begin with. So I think I'm going to keep the car. That's what happened. <laughs> don't even. Oh, okay. Don't even. But what's in its own way, it's poetic, unnecessary, because legally speaking, you could look me right in the eye and say, judge, it's a set off against that money that he didn't pay because now I'm obligated to pay that money. But you don't know that. It's just a thing of beauty. And I'm pretty sure you're married. Yes. Are you married? No. Can't hear you. No, ma'am. Were you married in 2016? No, ma'am. Did you have a girlfriend? That's enough. I think we all know. It's okay. So I am finding in favor of the defendant in this case. I guess that's just kind of the little risk you took by putting everything in her name. You see, this is like you do all this shady stuff and then you don't want it to have a consequence. Well, this time it had a consequence. And this time the consequence that it had is actually okay. Um, because even though I believe with every fiber of my body that you are lying to me when you say he gave you the car, I do believe that you have a right to, to not to self-help, but to call it judge. This is a set off against that money that he never paid back. Verdict for the defendant. Well, the plaintiff fails in this case. Seems like a lot of shady dealing was going on here, Mr. Elon Waffer. What do you what do you say about what the judge had to say? Um, she's a liar. Uh, you miss her. Yes. What are you talking about? You know, it, it started at the very beginning. You, you said you never dated. She said you did date. You met in Atlanta in 2014. Yeah. You dated for a couple of months. You, you deny that totally? Like I said, she is a liar. You know, really? Yes. 90% of what she said here are all lies. Well, she won the case. Well, I mean, she won the case doesn't mean that she's right. She's a liar. So she can keep the car. That's all right. That's okay. Okay. Well, yeah. good. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Doug. Yeah, how are you? How are you? All right. 
So you got the car. You're going to hold on to the car. Well, the car is gone because it was a piece of junk in the first place, and it, oh, so you don't it even went have out it on me, and I just junked it. <laughs> don't have it. And the car was given to me, and we did date, and I don't know why he's lying. Why is he de- denying that? I'm a, a beautiful woman, so I don't know why. Maybe because he don't want his wife or his girlfriend to know. I don't know. But, I mean, that was a long time ago. So. It was in 2014 yeah. and a few months in 2015. Crazy. I'm not understanding, crazy, but it's okay. Right. I'm glad that she ruled in my favor. Okay. Well, I'm sure you are. Well, thank you very much. Good. Are you finished with him now? You're going to go back to him for anything again? Definitely done. Uh, We're done. It's over. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you must sign a few documents. <laughs> Harvey? Okay. I mean, I just want to make a general point that if you put your car in somebody else's name for whatever reason you are asking for trouble, it almost never ends well.